guys, Becky here with Creative Fabrica, and I'm super excited to have you join me today because we have a really awesome beginner tutorial. We're using our Cricut and we're making a cold cup vinyl wrap. All right guys, so here we are. The first thing I wanted to do for our video tutorial today is to show you where I got this really amazing design. I think it's really cute. And with Valentine's Day right around the corner, this really fits in with our crafting schedule because we're definitely getting ready for all of these amazing holidays. Holidays are my favorite thing to craft for and hopefully you'll feel the same. So basically what you're gonna do is find the design. Now, of course, I have a Creative Fabrica subscription. So if you don't have one of those, definitely check it out. But this is part of my subscription so I can download it straight to my computer. And when I do so, that will show up in my downloads folder. So I'm just gonna click download. It's gonna do its thing down here at the bottom and I can click on it and it will open that file for me, okay? Now let's take a look at my downloads. And what you're gonna see here is that it downloads it into a zipped folder. Now a zipped folder is not uh, a folder that I can use right away. What I need to do is extract it. So in case you're new and following along, let's go ahead and extract it together. I'm just gonna right click and choose extract all. And it's gonna ask me where do I wanna save it? This is also in my downloads folder. I do not need to show the folder when it's complete. I'm just gonna choose extract. And the reason I wanna do that is it's gonna open up the contents of that folder into a usable format. So let's go ahead and head on over to Cricut Design Space and I'm gonna show you that you can open those files directly in the software. Now in Cricut Design Space, this is just your welcome screen. I'm gonna come up here to the top and I'm gonna to go to my canvas or you can click new project over here in the right hand side. Now once you're in your new project canvas, we need to upload the file. So I'm going to go to upload down here in my bottom left and I'm gonna to go to Upload Image, Browse. All right, and here is my newly unzipped folder. So I can double click. I'm gonna open it up again, double click. And what I'm looking for is this SVG file. Now SVG files can be a little misleading because a lot of times under type, they'll show up as an internet document, but just look for this extension right here where it says SVG and you will be in business. So let's double click. And this is going to open it up into our software to preview. And as long as your preview looks good, which this one does, I'm just gonna choose upload here on the right hand side. Now, once the upload is completed, I can select my newly uploaded SVG and click add to canvas. Now, once this is added to Canvas, we can take a look at it, see if we need to make any modifications. Now, this one we shouldn't because it is a fully completed template and we should just be able to click over to make it. So let's take a look. Yep, everything looks good. Now one thing I am going to do, because I don't actually need the template that's behind it, you can always save that for future projects if you ever decide to set up your own template. But I'm just going to ungroup, and then I want to separate these two, and I can simply delete that layer. So once that's done, I'm left with my design here. And the only other thing I wanna check is to make sure I don't need to attach it. Now my attach is grayed out, so that tells me this is all one design, exactly what I need. So I'm gonna click make it up in the top right hand corner. And it's gonna show me a preview of what it's gonna look like on my mat. Now this is perfect. This is exactly what I want to look at. I'm gonna double check. I am using a 12 by 12 mat and a 12 by 12 sheet of vinyl. I'm gonna click continue. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna go ahead and connect Bluetooth to my maker. Now, if you have an Explore Air, Explore Air 2, or one of the other mini Cricut models, you can absolutely complete this project. You do not need a maker. And what I'm going to choose, I'm gonna to go to Browse, because my personal favorite is the Premium Outdoor Vinyl. That setting works really, really well for me, so that's what I'm gonna use. I will leave my pressure at default. And now what I can do is go over and load the material into the Cricut and then it will alert me that I can press go. All 
All right, so as long as you follow along with the software, it will walk you through all the prompts. So let's head on over to our machine and take a look at what it looks like over there. All right, guys, so let's talk about what we have here. This is a Cricut Maker. Of course, you can use any type of Cricut machine. If you have a different brand, that's okay too. But you have your cutting machine, a cutting mat. Now I'm using this really gorgeous holographic vinyl. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to my mat. This is the type of cup that I'm using. Purchased it directly from Starbucks. And then I have transfer tape and I have some scissors. I also have a little squeegee and some weeding tweezers. All right, now because we've already set this up in our software, you can see it's gonna prompt me to load my mat. And then as soon as I do, it's going to prompt me to go ahead and start the cut. So let's do that and then we will reconvene when it's done. All right, so once the cutting is complete, uh, one important step that I like to do before I eject my mat is to examine my cutting lines and then go ahead and try to weed out one of the pieces. This is to make sure that I received a good cut from my machine. There we go, I did. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and eject my mat. And then I can go ahead and put my machine away. This is going to give me a more working area. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove my vinyl from my cutting mat. And don't forget, if you still have the plastic sheet that goes over your cutting mat, you can go ahead and replace that to keep your mat nice and clean. So from here, because I'm a little bit of a frugal crafter, I'm going to go ahead and trim. And now I'm going to proceed to weed my design. So what I like to do is start in the corner. Now what I wanna do is slowly peel this back and make sure that the pieces of my design stay in place where they belong. What I like to do at this point is, um, instead of crumbling this up and throw it in the trash, I do just set it upside down so that the sticky side is up, just in case I missed a piece. So then I'm gonna go through the design and I'm gonna weed out all of the inside pieces. Once the design is completely weeded, we're gonna go ahead and grab our transfer tape. And what I like to do is measure out how much I need and then trim off the rest. From here, I'm going to peel the transfer tape free from the backing. Now, the way that I apply transfer tape is I hold the sides with my pointer and my thumb, and then I just align I kind of space out my fingers and I let the middle droop down first. Now grab your scraper and give it a light burnishing. Usually you don't need too much. And then I like to turn my design completely over and make sure that it peels free from the backing. All right, so I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. If you run into a situation where the paper backing tries to come up with your vinyl, that means that your cut is a little bit too deep. That's very common. Those of you who have a new machine because your blade is usually ultra sharp. So just something to keep an eye out for, but I'm gonna discard this and I'm going to bring back the backing from my transfer tape. And I promise this has a point. What I wanna do is go ahead and Put the backing back on. Now, what I did was make sure that I put the non-stick side down 
That way it doesn't stick to the paper backing. And I'm going to trim closely around my design and this is gonna help me with the placement on my cup. So now I have my cup and I have my weeded and ready decal. Now for cup projects, I usually try to find something that is going to hold my cup steady. For this one, it's completely optional because we're not gonna leave it on the table very long. This is a very hands-on project, but it's something to go ahead and get used to. If you have some things that are available, like even just a pair of scissors, you can also use a like a hand towel or a spare t-shirt, something that's just gonna help cradle it and keep it still. And what I wanna do is I can go ahead and wrap this around. And if I pay attention real close, I can usually line up the green through the backing. Now we can go ahead and take our lid off. We don't need it on right now. Okay, and also sometimes hold it up to the light and that will help you. But once I get my center positioned, then I can wrap the rest around and you can see how it's gonna line up very well for our cup. Okay, so alignment has been done. And what I'm gonna do is make sure that that stays in place. Now this is very carefully peel back one side of your vinyl. That's why we pre-peel it like we did, okay? And then I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna trim off just a small portion, okay? Set this to the side, we don't need it. Now check one more time. Okay, alignment is still good. You guys ready? You're just gonna roll this down and go ahead and push it onto the tumbler. Okay, piece of cake, right? Easy peasy. Now, because this part is already adhered, makes it super easy to pull up this side. Go ahead and get a hold of the backing. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk it around with my hand, okay? But this is also where your rolling and keeping it still can come into place. Whatever tools you have handy, but I'm gonna walk this around. And it should follow the curve of my cup all the way around, okay? See how cute that is? Now, I don't want to stick the final part down yet because I wanna remove this transfer tape. So you may want to use your scraper, but I'm just gonna use my hands, make sure it's adhered well, and then I can start peeling up this transfer tape. Okay, get part of it peeled. Now I can go ahead and smooth the rest of this down. See how well it all fits together, okay? then just start the process of removing. I like to roll the transfer tape back instead of trying to pull it straight up. Okay, now if you use the blue good transfer tape that I do, it is reusable, so if you want, you can set it to the side, use it for a different project, and then check out your finished tumbler. Now I did have one part here that did not adhere well, so I'm gonna use my weeding tweezers pull it up and it's actually the inside of my no right here. All right, place it by hand and there we go. Now you can do the same thing with any type of design. And also if you take a look and you're not super happy with how things line up, you can actually still move these, okay? It will take about 72 hours for your vinyl to fully adhere. So you can absolutely just use your tweezers or whatever weeding tool peel these up and move these around. Now, I don't recommend, um, you know, going into the design planning to do this because obviously it's just easier to choose a design that you know. So what I can do for next time, if I know that um, this is something that I had to do, then I can rearrange this design in the software a little bit, okay? But I have a completely seamless cold cup now and I can just put my lid back on and I can now use this for my favorite cold drinks. And for that project, we are going to call it done. So guys, how did you feel about our really cute, really simple cold cup wrap? 
Now I really love these projects. I think the cold cups are really, really useful. They make really great gifts or just making them for yourself, whichever way you want to go. But they're a great beginner project and I know that you will grow to love them as much as I do. Now being able to do the wraps, you can make them seasonally or you can make them year round, whatever you decide. And of course we have tons of templates on Creative Fabrica. So I'm going to wrap it up for today, but if you have any questions or comments, definitely make sure you leave those down below. I really love to hear from you guys. And if you have any video ideas of projects that you want to see, we're always trying to make sure that we bring you content that you value and that helps you along your crafting journey. So put that down below too. But guys, thanks for stopping in today. I do really appreciate it and we'll see you again next time.